What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Look, this past weekend on the uh, live Q&A, you guys said you wanted to see more cooking videos. So guess what you're getting this Sunday? A cooking video. We're gonna make our favorite duck blind duck fajitas. Super simple, um, something anybody can do. And look, we're gonna make it with wild duck. You guys can make it with wild duck. You can make it with chicken. You can make it with whatever you desire. So, um, us being duck hunters, we love to eat duck, so we're about to show you what you do with some of them. The vegetables I like to use um, for these duck fajitas is a yellow onion. I know that one looks white, but he's really yellow. I like a yellow bell pepper. The reason being to me, they just seem to be a little bit sweeter. Um, and it gives you a nice little color contrast because as you'll see, we also use jalapeno peppers. Um, and one thing that I love to do with them, mushrooms. I love adding mushrooms. These mushrooms I cheated and went ahead and bought chopped. I've washed them. Everything's good to go. But what we'll do is we'll prep all this the night before we go hunting, especially if we know it's going to be a super cold day or a day where we may have to sit there a while and you know, it. you want something to eat. So um, that's just, it's what we do. I mean, it's part of it. Uh, Pit Boss come out with these awesome griddles that you can tote anywhere. This one's got its own bag, runs off a little propane bottle. So you can take this anywhere, but you can use, if you have a big griddle at home, you can do that. If you just have a cast iron skillet in your house, you can do this recipe anywhere. I cannot stress that enough. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get to chopping the vegetables. We're gonna use one whole yellow onion, and it's just a rough chop, guys. I'm not Bobby Flay, this ain't Food Network. I'm not looking for everything to be the same size, same shape, all that. We're just gonna get it close enough because they're gonna cook down on that griddle and it's really not even going to matter. So we're just going to do a rough chop of one whole onion. Let's see if I can get that right down the middle. We'll be and not get my finger. We'll be good. Spread them all apart. Spread them all apart. A lot of times I'll go through here and cheat and take out the core, uh, just because you know it's just kind of an overpowering bite of onion, even when after you've cooked them down. But. All those are done. We're gonna separate them a little bit so that when they get there, they get good even cooking. Uh, I don't wanna leave any super big hunks. And we got one onion roughly chopped. Well, you can tell they're pretty much the same size. So I did better than even I thought I would. We're gonna sit them to the side of the cutting board. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna, we're gonna hold this bell pepper. I don't know if that's the technical term, but that's what it seems like you're doing. You just cut the center out of him. When you do that, if you do it correctly, hopefully I have, and hopefully, hopefully, you pull out all the seeds and everything, which I got most of them. Ha, look at there. And then I'm gonna cut him in force. We're just gonna go like that. We're gonna go like that. We'll go right here. There's most of the seeds I didn't get, so it doesn't matter if you leave the seeds, I just prefer them out of there. Um, doesn't really do anything. And then we're gonna just chop him. We're gonna try to get them somewhat the same. Uh, that way that the, they cook the same and you don't have little crunchy pieces, unless you like little crunchy pieces. Is now I'm gonna go ahead and light my griddle so that it's nice and hot uh, for when all the veggies go on there. We want it nice and hot. Um, that way everything cooks kind of quick. Like I said, you're, remember you're cooking this in the blind in theory. You can do it at home, but you're cooking it in the blind. So the jalapeno peppers are next. I've went ahead and split them down the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of them and I'm gonna hull them out, get the seeds and the white out of it, decrease the heat a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave one of them with all that in there. That way you get a little pass through heat. Take a spoon, start here, uh, and then just kind of whoop, and it'll all come out of there. He's a hot part, so just in case you wanna know, he, he be what makes it hot. So not interested in leaving him and all of them because let me tell you something, they will light your world on fire. You leave all of them. So we're just gonna chop them super thin. Trying to remember, we're trying to keep everything consistent so that they cook at roughly the same time. So there's that. The griddle should be getting nice and hot. And what we're gonna do once it's nice and hot and we've got all this chopped, we're gonna put down a little bit of olive oil. Uh, you can use whatever you want to. I'm gonna use olive oil just because I like using it. Uh, I like the flavor it gives. 
In the duck blind, a lot of times I'll use butter. Butter's a lot easier to transport than a thing of olive oil. So um, we'll just keep chopping. We're just about done with all this. So we're gonna put just a little bit of olive oil over each of our burners. We're gonna put all this stuff on there. There's a little bit. I pray that my table and my griddle are somewhat level. They are. That way I don't have to change anything. And we're just gonna take, we're gonna go here, and we're just gonna start adding. So, ooh, you gotta love the sound of that. Listen to them babies. Sizzle, yes sir. So, let's get all this on there. And we're just gonna let them cook for a little bit. Like that sizzle, like that sound. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I referenced the mushrooms earlier. The mushrooms are gonna go in last because they don't take as long to cook down to the level you want them, so. Um, but there we are. We've got our uh, bell peppers, jalapenos, onions all getting on the griddle. About to get a nice little sweat on here. Um, and we're just gonna let them do their thing. Now, we're gonna move on to going ahead and chopping and slicing our protein. So. You've probably eaten fajitas before. You know, it's real thin strips. So we're gonna do the same thing with these duck breasts. Uh, I've had them marinating overnight. You can see they are in a deal of, uh, of Worcestershire, soy sauce, minced garlic, and cayenne pepper. So that's what I have them soak in. That's kind of the flavor profile I like. What you'll do with this minced garlic a lot of times is as you slice it, it'll stay on it and you'll get the carryover of the minced garlic to cook with. Um, so I'm gonna start on that here shortly. Now that these onions have had a little bit of time to sweat, I'm gonna hit them with something that's a little different. This is uh, made by a buddy in my meat church. It's called the Holy Gospel. It's actually a rub. It's not a seasoning, so to speak. So what it's got in it is it's got a little sugar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on here and you'll get a little caramelization of the sugar. Now that they've had a, a minute to, that shouldn't be too hot. It's not perfect. And we're just going to hit all of it with a generous amount of the gospel. So everybody deserves to be hit with a gospel every once in a while. So we're going to put the lid back over and let them keep sweating. And we're going to get back to work on this. So I'm going to go ahead and slice the duck breast. I'm going to slice them again, thin strips, uh, and get them ready to go on. The reason the ducks are going on last, they don't take very long to cook. You got to remember one thing about ducks. You don't want to cook them well done. Wild ducks, you do not want to do that. So you want to keep them at the most medium. Try to keep it around medium rare. So when you cut them in strips, when they go on there, it don't take very long. So these are mallard breasts. These are the uh, end of the road for ducks for me. So you can tell I'm cutting them in super thin strips. And then I'm even going to go back again and slice them in half. That way they cook even faster. They got less time on there. Um, and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit them with a little bit more olive oil. Just right over the top. Not much. Just a little splash. You'll hear it start sizzling. And at this point too, now that the vegetables are about halfway there, I'm going to go ahead and throw some mushrooms on top of here. So these are sliced portobello mushrooms. Use whichever mushroom you like. Um, again, I bought these as a matter of convenience since they were already done. So um, then we're gonna go back with a lid. Put that on there, let them keep, and then we're gonna keep slicing. So now, while that's continuing to do its thing, I'm gonna come here, this pro move here, you won't see this one on many when it comes to fajitas. But as our base for our duck, we're gonna take four strips of bacon and we're gonna chop it. We're gonna chop it real nice, in little small bits. And that, like we use the olive oil for, uh, for the veggies, we're gonna use bacon grease for the ducks. And you'll also, while you're eating it, get these nice little crispy, crunchy deals of bacon up in there. And I don't think anybody's ever been mad about that happening, have you? 
if you have, I don't, I don't know what it means. You can be friends. So we're just going to keep doing it. Again, this is seeming like a lot, and you're like, oh, y'all do this in duck blind? No, well, we do, but we do it all the night before. So that baby's probably going to be hot this time. Let's touch it. Oh, Lord, look at that. Look at that. They're pretty soft. That's a good thing right there. That's. We're gonna let them go for just one more hot minute. Look, while we're waiting on those to cook, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Drop a comment down below. What's your favorite duck blind snack? What do y'all cook when you're out there? Is it bacon and eggs, sausage, pancakes, deer sausage, what is it? What? And how do you cook it? You cook it on a griddle? You carry a little grill with you, a little stove top? Let us know. Uh, Cause we're all, we are always looking for new ideas too. Um, so, you know, be sure to let us know down below what you like to have when you're out there. Um, so we're going to pull them and we're going to put them in this pan. And I'll show you what you do with that here in a minute. The reason, I, oh, that's hot. Hot underneath there. Hot on the bottom. Hot on the bottom, boys. I'm going to start with the bacon and we're just going to come here. Oh, boy. Oh, listen to that sizzle of that bacon. Lord have mercy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at here. And that bacon's gonna even soak up some of that veggie juice. Oh, man. Cool thing about cooking with like one skillet, you get all the flavors through everything. So we're going to let that bacon render out, produce us some grease, and let it start getting nice and crunchy, nice and crispy. And before the duck goes on there, I'm going to take it and hit it with some of this hardcore carnivore Amplify. It's called Mega Savory Flavor Dust. Now look here, I'm a seasoning nut. I'll try any of it. I love it. Ours is really good. But every now and then you just like to play with other stuff. So let's go, let's put, let's, let's hit that. We're gonna hit it with more of it too. I done got it. Oh, I got it fouled up. There we go. That one's on me. And I did it again. So we're gonna start with that. And look, once I get it on to there, we're gonna, we're gonna add some more to it too. Not a lot of salt in that stuff. I tasted it before I did it. So that's why I wanted to try it because you're gonna get the salt from the bacon. Um, and there's just not a lot of salt in that, so that's a cool thing. We're going to just scoot it to the side for a hot minute. We're going to mix it all back in, but let's get it over to the side. You see that puddle of grease right there? And that is where these babies are going. Get on up in there, mallard duck. And then we're going to Keep hitting it with some more of this Amplify. Uh-huh. Now, spread it out nice and thin. Let the bacon stay over here. Then we're going to bring them all back together. And now you just want to watch it. Now you got to really look because you don't want to overcook it. So spread it out where they get a nice, even cook on them. And we're just gonna sit here and watch it. We're gonna move it constantly. Um, making sure that one doesn't get overcooked over the other. So now you can mix the bacon back in with everybody. And you can see, once the meat went on, that went pretty doggone quick. So. Now, that we're there. We're gonna come here with our limes. And we're just gonna hit it with a little lime. We're gonna hit it one more time.
Make sure Si gets a seed in here. No, I'm kidding. We don't want to do that to that old man. He's too good to all of us. All right. And then we're going to remember our pan of vegetables. We're going to go here. And we're going to dump it all together. Oh, man. Look at all that. Oh, my. Now we'll come here, look. I don't know why I keep trying to use that spatula. This is what I brought this guy for. Now we're just gonna mix everything together. All the veggies, all the meat, everything come together. And then we're gonna take a couple of these tortillas and I'm just gonna go straight onto the griddle with them. Really quick, won't take but a second. About 10 seconds on each side. Roughly, one one thousand. It's probably been about ten. Got that one a little wet. Ah, that one's good. We're gonna sit him right there. We're gonna sit you. Ooh, look at him get puffy, son. That's what you want right there. A little puffy. Pop that air pocket. Go right here. Now trust me, let him cool because that little rascal will be 200 degrees, that little flyer thing, and you will burn your hand. But let me get Hunter a couple of them. I won't, I don't want to, I don't want to be that guy. Let me get Hunter boy a little something here. Get on there. And well, he's going to build us one. We're gonna try to get a good mix of meat, veggies. I ain't got no green in there. Where's that head? There we go. Look at that. Got him. And we're just gonna top him off with just a wee bit of cheese. And we're gonna fold him up like so. And we're gonna eat. Hmm. That right there, that's fire. Look, we appreciate y'all tuning in with us. This is our favorite duck blind duck fajitas. Comment down below, let us know what you think. Look, if you try it, shoot us a message. Shoot me a message on Instagram. Anything, doesn't matter. Let me know how they turn out. I can tell you right now, if you follow what I did, they're going to be fire. And your woman's going to buy you more shell money to go duck hunting with. Because when she eats this, that's the deal right there. Oh, Lord.